Hello, friends. It is your friendly neighborhood slash 687 here with another PC build guide. Today, I have a $1,000 PC build featuring some absolutely delicious parts. So let's get right in to the build. If you're interested in purchasing this build, go ahead and check the description. I have the links to all the parts, but don't check it yet because that would ruin the surprise. Let's get into the build. Starting off with the central processing unit, AKA the CPU. I have the Intel Core i5-6600K. It is an unlocked 3.5 gigahertz quad core processor and you're gonna need a fancy motherboard to support the overclocking feature on this CPU. But once you overclock it and once you pair it with a beautiful cooler like the one I have in this build, you will be able to get well over four gigahertz quad core uh, Skylake architecture glory. This thing is great for gaming. Pretty much any game can be played on this CPU, especially once you overclock it. Shouldn't bottleneck our GPU in this build at all. It does what you need it to do. Not the best CPU for editing or any kind of intensive graphic design or anything like that, but as far as gaming's concerned, it is plenty. Uh, to cool this thing, I went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, because why not? It's cheap and it does the job. So, uh, you know, why not? Uh, for the motherboard, I have the AS Rock Z170 Pro 1. Oh god, these motherboard names are terrible, but it, it's an AS Rock motherboard and it is a Z170 motherboard, so it's gonna support our overclocking of our i5 6600K. It has four memory slots and supports up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4. Uh, it has two SATA 6 gigabit per second ports, which is actually not that many for a motherboard of this magnitude, but it's gonna get the job done and it does have onboard USB 3.0 headers. As far as Z170 motherboards go, this one's the cheapest, meaning you are making some sacrifices. There isn't the most SATA 6 gigabit per second ports on here, but it does support Crossfire. But other than that, it, you aren't getting a ton. It lets you overclock your CPU, and that's really all we need it to do. It's very plain looking, but it's functional, so I went with it. For the RAM, I have the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit of two 8 gigabyte sticks of DDR4 collected 2133 megahertz. This kit is bright red. It, it's it's out there. You you see it. It's flashy. It was the cheapest kit of two 8 gigabyte sticks of DDR4 that I could find. I really don't like the color. It's not really gonna go well with the build. It's gonna kind of stick out like a sore thumb. But you save five dollars if it's worth it to you to spend the extra five dollars so that it looks uniform inside your case go purchase some standard corsair ram but in this case i went with the cheaper option and it's gonna look kind of strange but it's gonna do what ram needs to do and it's gonna work just fine so why not for the storage, I went with an SSD HDD combination. For the SSD, I have the SanDisk SSD Plus 120 gigabyte SSD. It's not the fastest SSD in the world, but it is one of the cheapest and 120 gigabytes is going to be plenty for your OS and a few of your favorite programs. For the hard drive, I have the Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte, <laughs> 2 terabyte, 7200 RPM internal hard drive. 2 terabytes is a good amount of storage for a PC. You can put all your games on here, pictures, videos, and the like. It's going to get the job done. 2 terabytes of storage, a very good amount for this PC. And it's made by Seagate. They make pretty good hard drives. I've never had one fail on me, so why not? And it's cheaper than the Caviar Blue, so it was the clear choice in this build. Next up, the most important part of your gaming PC, the GPU. I went with the EVGA GeForce GTX 1070. It's an 8 gigabyte of DDR5 uh, Super Clocked Edition video card. It has the new ACX cooler that you see from EVGA. I love the look of this cooler and its cooling capacity is not too shabby at all. You can get very good overclocks on this GPU right in around the uh, 2 gigahertz area. These new GPUs from Nvidia, they just overclock so well and this one's no exception, especially when you have that wonderful cooler on there. And since it is super clocked, it is factory overclocked, so you're gonna get a few extra FPS compared to just the stock. 1070. It's also the cheapest 1070 going right now, so why not? This thing can game in ultra settings, 1440p, pretty much any game. It's good for VR, and it pairs great with our 6600K, so it was a clear choice in this build. 
for the case. I have the Corsair 200R ATX mid-tower case. I've said it once and I'll say it again. This is my favorite mid-tower case. Has great cable management, great airflow, great looks, very simple, very clean. I love this case. If it was a woman, I would marry this case. I use it in every single one of my builds. 10 out of 10 would recommend. This is a great case. Buy it. Lastly, the power supply. I went with the Corsair Builder 600 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply. It's semi-modular so you can uh, get a little bit better cable management with this power supply. It was one of the cheapest power supplies. It's on kind of a special deal right now. $37. 600 watts is a little bit overkill for this build, uh, but if you do want to overclock the 6600K as well as the GPU, it does give you a little bit of headroom as far as that's concerned, a little bit of peace of mind, even though a 500 watt would probably be just fine for this build, but it does give you a little bit of wiggle room, so uh, for only $37, not a bad option here for the power supply, and the total cost of our build is going to come out to $1,000. $23. I'm sorry about the extra $23. It it happens. It's uh, not really going to make or break you, hopefully. So uh, build this thing and use the links in the description. It gives me a kickback and I appreciate it a lot. Helps out the channel and helps out me uh, when I want to spend money. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video and be sure to subscribe if you're new. If you have any comments or questions about anything in this video, be sure to leave it down in the comments section below and I will personally answer you because that's just the kind of personable great guy I am. So you have a great evening. Peace.